never really gotten why people are uh, like weird about bodybuilding. It's one of those things like whenever you show up on stage, all the work's been done. It's not like we're like running a race or fighting or doing anything weird like that. And, you know, it's like we've all been here, done this enough to know we all feel like absolute ass. So. You know, to get a good session in three days out with one of the boys, that's awesome. And you know, Lewis, I met him for the first time in Tampa. Awesome dude out of the UK. Uh, he got third at his pro debut, which was awesome. I think it was his pro debut. And then, uh, yeah, he said he was doing Texas. So I was like, hey, let's make sure we grab a session. And we linked up and went to some push, so. Exciting week here at Destination. Very exciting. Um, we've had a lot of visitors from guests, pro athletes, you know, top level bodybuilders, and the energy's really been great. Um, you know, being a competitor myself and competing this weekend, just having the different personalities and the different feelings was definitely uplifting and something that I can take with me and help me prepare that kind of kept me kept me going. So the energy's been really good. Um, I think it's what you make of it, you know, but as long as you kind of keep yourself in the mix, keep a good attitude, shit's been good. It's been real good. So we just gonna continue to push forward. Ain't no telling who else you might see, so come on out. Better. Hunter looking in shape. Hey, oh, whew. look, you could see from his face. You thought he was in shape in Tampa? Wait for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> exciting. Yeah. It's probably the first show I'm truly, truly excited about this year. Why is yeah. that? It's one of the last shows other than Legion Sports Fest in the U.S. to qualify for the Olympia. So, you know, all the guys that are coming are really shooting for their Olympia qualification. They're bringing their best. I feel Texas bodybuilding is like coming to Mecca bodybuilding right now. So, you know, you're getting some top athletes, Olympia level athletes, up and coming generations competing that are some freaks out there, you know, we got guys all the way from the UK, so, you know, none of the shows I feel like they've had good lineups, but not this depth, so this this definitely has the hype behind it for sure. So we got from the UK, the big UK crew here today, or this week, so Carl Phil Rick, okay. just turned pro back in one month, March, March in Ireland, so I work with Carl, he's a great boy, British bodybuilder. <laughs> we got Lewis Breed, the new kid on the block, <laughs> causing a stir over here, and his coach, Martin Winston, a great coach from the UK. And we are here to dominate, we we'll take over Texas. <laughs> Today will be a pretty reduced session, so not the most exciting thing in the world, but we look cool, so that's all that matters because it's peak week. I turned pro in 2021, so a couple of years, did three pro shows last year, um, but then went to Dubai and uh, spent six months out there and come back 15 pound heavier this year. So. Yeah, I mean, I started when I was sort of 18, 19, won the junior nationals, but then I took seven years away from competing. Um, just family and life just sort of got in the way. Um, so it sort of put a stall on my career a little bit because I didn't do it for seven years and then got back to it 2018, 19. Obviously hooked up with my coach, uh, Martin Winston, and uh, we won quite a few amateur shows, chased the pro card and then got it in 2021. And uh, now we're finally competitive in the pro league, you know? So uh, we'll just keep working on it. Tampa's, Tampa's set up um, and just tweaked and adjusted. Um, we have things in a tighter line this week, so we have more control over the look. Yeah, it's it's 
very good. I'm really happy. Um, we're not doing anything crazy. That there's not much more to, to kind of squeeze out that look, and I don't want to get into the that risk of chasing a look that doesn't exist. We like how he looks in the morning. We know how he looks by this time, which is right around when he's going to be on stage. So, yeah, predictable. Predictable has been uh, a key word this year with his look. And he mentioned he's lifting tomorrow and Friday. So it's like you said, uh, but don't... Potentially think. Friday. Yeah. We may use Friday as a kicker, but I have no issue with him training Friday. He's, he looks great right now on stage. Oh, sorry, on stage. When he's posing, he looks great. And that translates to the same on stage. So, I really, like I said, I don't want to chase something that doesn't exist by stopping exactly what we're doing and having the look that we're happy with every single day and then trying something different and spectacular for for maybe two percent more at risk of losing the look the look is there we'll hold it steady fit him out a tiny bit more dry him out a little bit more come friday and done to see a hunter uh pose <gasps> i mean uh, when i saw him one week uh, out of the tampa it was uh, unbelievable and uh, right now uh, you know, I heard that he's in even better shape, so that would be, that would be cool to see. guys so you got a little sneak peek train the next two days but uh i'm gonna leave y'all with that i will see y'all texas pro on saturday can't wait